Hey everybody, Joe Friesen here with another how-to episode. Today we are doing shoe goo on my DC shoes. I have a uh, hole that's come through. I'll show you here. It's worn down, punching through, pretty bad, two spots. But a few months ago, I actually had a very similar problem with my other shoe and I did a very large shoe goo patch and it's held really well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. I'll show you the end result first. And yes, it's a huge patch, but I'll explain that later. It's held quite well. It's actually worn down from skating back down to like level with the shoe. And this edge of the shoe is actually almost all, worn, all the way worn down now instead of this being completely gone. So the shoe goo is definitely added to the lifespan of this shoe even though it's almost at the end again so stay tuned and we'll show you how to do shoe goo on your shoes shoe goo so first thing we need to do is clean the shoe i'm going to grab a rag and just give it a wipe it doesn't have to be spotless yet but just get most of the dirt off and then i was thinking because you know when you fix a bicycle tire you want the rubber patch to stick, you have to sand it down. And I was thinking to myself, what can I use to sand down a skate shoe? And then I realized we're constantly on these things on sandpaper, so it should already be roughed up real good and proper. So the shoe goo should stick very nicely to the bottoms of, here, uh, bottoms of these without having to scuff up your shoes at all with sandpaper, but if you want to, just st stand on your board and move your feet back and forth a bit, scuff up, scuff up that area, and uh, get it ready for the shoe goo to attach. Shoe goo! Now, when I originally did this shoe, I had done a much smaller area. I had done just a, a small patch in the middle, and that let go very quickly, because it didn't really have anything to grab onto. If you look around here, it's all smooth all smooth around here and the grip is a little ways away. So what you have to do is you have to make a patch that's bigger than the flat spot and you have to get into these treads so that your shoe goo will get in there, you'll have more surface area, more room for it to grab, and um, it'll stick a whole lot better. Shoe goo! And take and just give this shoe sole a little bit of a rinse. can't see very well here but just give that a bit of a rinse get some of the or the rest of the dust off so it sticks better and make sure you dry it off real good get all the dust and stuff out of the shoe as well as you can I'm gonna pull the insole out These shoes are toast. Man, the whole bottoms are just gone. If you can see that or not, but they're just, they're done. But I gotta keep them running for a little while. I'm probably gonna use these for snow skating. So break out the shoe goo, and instead of buying $120 snow skate shoes, we reuse old skate shoes. And we're all about saving money here. Shoe goo. Okay, so once your shoe is dry enough, you just prop it up on the other shoe like so. And then, bring it in here a little closer, you break out the shoe goo, which is obviously a well-used uh, container of shoe goo here. Still flowing? Yep, yeah, still flowing. So then what you do is you start on the outside in the tread, and you just start doing circles and be generous with this when you're doing it because the shoe goo will actually shrink it actually shrinks down in size so I try to do circles I hope you can kind of see what I'm doing here I just do rings Very, very generous. 
circles until you fill it in. And I always do a little extra right over where the hole is. If you end up with a bit of a bit of a lump there, that's no big deal. It will uh, sit down over time. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. You can see this. You actually end up with quite a raised area on your shoe. And that'll give you the extra material that you need to uh, help your shoe survive the rest of the uh, skating that you're going to do. I'm just looking at it, I'm going to go a little further on the outside here just to grab a little more into those treads. Give us a little more surface area. And I'm going to give us a little more just right on, right on the middle. And that'll just kind of sit and spread out. I did this on the other shoe as well. I actually went back in afterwards and put another glob over top of it. And it worked out really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this sit till tomorrow. And we'll come back and have a look. See you then. Shugu. Okay, everybody, it's the next day. We've had about 16 hours of cure time on the Shugu. Let's see here. You can see we've got a little bit of a lump, which is okay because that's the area that gets worn down, so that'll balance out over time. And a nice big Shugu patch. Now, it's done what it did last time in that it dented into this area. You can see a bit of a divot right where the uh, the hole was. I guess it absorbed through. Um, so what I did last time was just put a little bit more shugu in that divot, filled it in, and it was fine. I'm going to just do a little experiment this time and leave the divot and just let it wear on these other spots. Maybe take a little bit of pressure off of that spot. But most likely it'll just end up pushing it through and wearing through faster. But these shoes are just about done anyways. Like the backs are bad. Like these were, th these are the insoles that were in there and they're, they're done. You know, I'm putting them back in and I'm wearing them, but they're, they're done. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do that. And then once, once that wears through, once this wears through, then they're going to be done or snow skating shoes or something. So. Um, that's that's how I do shoe goo. So uh, thank you for joining me for my shoe goo video, and we will catch you next time when we're doing more stuff to make shoes, skate gear, whatever last longer, so you don't have to spend as much money, and you can do it yourself. So we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. I'm out. Shoe goo. Shoe goo. Shoe goo. Shugu. 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 Shugu.